All right, friends, Coach Mike here in the Coach's Corner. I got an event coming up here in about 20 minutes, but I wanted to get this in. It's really hot on my mind, and I don't want to leave out my followers, my good, good, great followers in the Coach's Corner. So listen, can private coaching kill your audition? If you have a, an audition for a commercial, uh, first of all, okay, commercials. You don't need a private coach for commercials. You don't. Okay, especially if it's a callback. Oftentimes actors will say, well, I got a callback for AT&T and it's some copy. Uh, coach Mike, will you coach me? Will you private coach me? No, I don't private coach for commercials. After your experience with me and my program, you don't need private coaching. You may have questions, but we don't need to sit and run lines. For what? You're already very familiar. You probably have the lines memorized. Now, what's your take on the story? That's all. What is the story? Not lines, not script, not copy. What is your best take, your best interpretation of what you've read? The story. Call it a story. Right? Now, do you have another interpretation? Do you have another interpretation? Is it a little, can you read it a little bit, express it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit up the middle? If you have several interpretations, there's no way when you walk in that room and they guide you, they give you notes, uh, cut, go back to one, give me another read, blah, 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 whatever they say, right? There's no way you're going to be that far off if you had several interpretations, all right? And most actors don't get, especially seasoned actors, if you're listening to me, if you're humble enough to say, let me listen to this guy, I know everything, but let me listen to him anyway. I honor you for that. That's, that's great for you that you're actually saying, you know what? No, even though I've been doing this 20, 25 years, 30 years, you can never learn enough. I'm still learning. That's my responsibility to learn. But for commercials, you know when you walk in the room at a callback, anything could happen. Anything. They could even switch what they want you to do. Right. And you went in private coach. So mainly this is for television and film because this is where actors really enjoy doing private coaching. Quick story. And then I got to run. Listen, one of my clients, she was up for uh, a contract role on Young and the Restless. It was not too long ago. She went through the first read and second read. They said, OK, now we're going to send you to network. Right. So she went and uh, studied with a very famous coach here in Los Angeles. I'm not going to say his name. He's a great guy. Uh, hint, hint. He, he coached. He trained Will Smith. OK, great guy. Right. So she studied with him, I think, an hour, hour and a half. I think at the time it was like one hundred and fifty dollars, something like that. OK, so I'm ready. I'm ready to read for this contract role. Woo! I got coaching by one of the best coaches in L.A. Wow. He trains all kind of stars. I'm ready. Okay, so guess what happens when she gets to Young and the Restless, to Y&R, network, executive sitting in the room staring down her throat. Guess what happened when she walked in? They changed everything. They changed everything, right? The text was the same, but they said the approach was different. And the approach that they changed up on her in the room in front of the executives at network was different than what her private coach coached her on. It was different. All your private coach is going to do is give you their interpretation. Unless your private coach... Uh, had you go to, uh, excuse me, unless your private coach called the executives at CBS and said, hey, what are you going to have her do when she walks in? And they could do that. They could say, oh, hi, Mr. Coach. We know you. You trained Will Smith and many other celebs. Guess what? We're going to do this. Well, what if they change their mind overnight and say, we want the character to go in this direction, that direction? There's a chance that you can walk in the room commercially or theatrically and they change everything. If you're a veteran actor, listen to me right now. That's happened to you before. The first audition was one way. Callback was another way. So now your training, that your, your private coaching just went out of the window. And she said it irritated her, my client. You know, it was like, oh, we want you to do it this way now. And see, then she looked like surprised on her face, she told me. And that, that can blow it for you. You're never to look surprised as an artist when you walk in a room. How would you like if you drop your car off at the, at the mechanic and you say, I think something's wrong with my battery. I don't know what's wrong with it either way. And they go, oh, really? They get big eyes and look surprised. You don't want that, right? You want them to say, okay, well, just fill this out and uh, we'll contact you. We'll let you know in a couple hours what it is. That's what you want, confidence. And actors get so bent coaching with their coach one way, this way, that way, whatever. And they walk in a room and it's changed. And it's like, they don't care what your coach taught you. They don't care if you spend $150 for a private session with the coach. It's like, this is where we have every right to change it. It's our production and you want rapport with us. So you better dance to our music. 
So the bottom line is, you know, and there's always outliers. There's always times when this doesn't happen. And with this situation is this situation, that, this, that, who knows, right? But the bottom line is think twice before you run off, especially if you're on a tight budget, before you run off and go study with someone and spend all this money and you leave that audition and you learn, you know what? I really didn't even need the private. All I needed to do was be extremely familiar with the, with the story don't call it a copy side script, right? All I need to do is be familiar with the story. Go in, be ready for whatever can happen next, right? If you want to call it having memorized, that's fine. But some actors have it memorized, and then as soon as they start reading, their brain goes around the corner and won't come back till the audition's over. So you want to be extremely familiar with the story. That way, when you go in, when they have all these change-ups and they want to do this and that, go, go back to one. Let's see it this way, that way, that way, this way. And you're thinking, well, this isn't what I planned for. It's like, no, I, I got to be ready for whatever could possibly happen when I walk in that room. So in some cases, and I'm not just making this up, this is what my, my, uh, my actors teach me. I learned from my actors through their experience, through their story. Coach Mike, I had an audition. The first audition was one way. And the second audition, I went in the room and they changed everything. Or they wanted me to read for a different part. And I had to read it freezing cold. So thankful for your coaching, Mike, that you taught us how to read a story, as you want us to call it, freezing cold. So think about it. This, this doesn't apply to everyone. If you're an expert, pro, know-it-all, okay, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the wise, right? Think about it. You're on a tight budget and you really think you need to study with a coach in order to get the part? Mm -mm. I bet in the final analysis. I bet if you take a risk and just trust that you know what you're doing, you know how to work a room, you're extremely familiar with that piece, right? You'll walk away from there. You'll do well and you'll say, wow, I saved myself $150, $200, depending on the coach, especially here in the L.A. area. I didn't even need the private coaching. I trusted myself because as an actor, that's what you need. You need to trust yourself. No, it's not something we learn when we're little, how to trust, how to trust. We're taught to depend on other people. That's why you ran and got the coach, because you want to depend on somebody else's trust and expertise. When all you really have, when you're standing in front of six, seven, eight producers, you got, you're in a trusting mindset. When you're in class training, you're in a training mindset. When you go on the audition, you're in a trusting mindset. All right, Coach Mike here in the Coach's Corner. Thanks for watching. I got to go get dressed. We'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.